Welcome back to Beautiful Desolation. Let's check out the Clemens Urn Field. Oh my god. Yeah, the name Urnfield made me think of a graveyard and it looks like it is. Those look like a bunch of graves all over the place. Yeah, more backer names it looks like. Yeah, look at these holes into the ground. They look so strange. What's that around them? gold figure could be used for trade. Keep hearing these staticky noises that sound like a broadcast or something. I think it's just ambient noise, but it sounds really creepy. Check out the boss launch platform. Earth has piled up around the wreckage. I'm hungry and tired. Me every day, Don. Huge energy discharges ahead. We got skeletons and a car just floating. What's going on here? How do we get down there? Live cables block the path to the weapons platform. Yeah, I don't think we should walk in there, huh? No way the buffalo can land in this. A human skeleton looks eerily angelic as it hovers in the electric air. The enormous engines stand dormant on the launch pad. Drifts of sand and ash have piled up over the years. That electricity looks dangerous. Reactor system online, plasma output nominal. Management diverted to reactor workbench terminal B. Get reactor geolocation. New location. Endorhake. What was it? Endorhake something? Because it must be this. This isn't the name we just saw, but that's the new location. And Dorhek Lake. Looks like a small fishing boat. 
Strange thing to see in this bone-dry, petrified terrain. Red vines creep over the statue's antelope skull like a coating of dried gore. Underneath the, looks rough. underneath the filth and corrosion, the gleam of copper is still faintly visible on this vast structure. I wonder what this used to be. This enormous copper disc appears to be part of a ruined building. A rooftop, perhaps? No part of the old fort has been left unscathed. Looks like it used to be an impenetrable fortress, but time and nature have breached its defenses. Ancient trees have uprooted the foundations of the fort. The walls of the fort are collapsing under the weight of the years. Okay, I want to make super sure I don't miss anything. to the left now? To the boss-filled forest. Hey, look at these trees. I, I think... Are these trees? They're so spiky and violent looking. These strange rust-red plants are as hard as bone. Bridge is structurally sound. Huge calcified plants with razor-sharp sharp points jut from the ground, looking like bloody teeth in the mouth of a predator. Bridge has been reclaimed by vines, but it looks sturdy enough. Oh, I think it's pretty scary looking. The hulking beast lies shackled to a rusted machine. Its flesh looks petrified like the surrounding plants. Do a save. The terminal still works. Oh, thank God we can't walk in here to even get close to it, it looks like. A heap of twisted metal, dead screens, and tangled wires corrodes in the strangely colored mist. Re Reactor Security Terminal 882. Boss genetic markers not detected. Access denied. Genetic markers. Hold on. Didn't we just get something? Very recently. We have a boss skull. That might be related to this? Not that I can just use it directly on it. I mean, can I? Nah. But what can I do with this? Take it to the doctor's place and like turn it into blood or something? <laughs> you know, the doctor that we blew up? I'm not sure, but it probably has something to do with that. We can't get in here, right? Can we go across the bridge? Oh, we can go across the bridge. Beyond the shifting mists and ossified vines, the chasm yawns into endless blackness.
This stuff looks ready to collapse at any minute. The entrance to the cavern is protected by what looks to be some type of force field. A gigantic statue of a creature of some sort watches over the chasm with empty eyes. They love these statues, eh? Hmm. It might be time to go focus on some old stuff and see if anything else can be advanced or perhaps even do the fights um, at the arcade now that I have two tokens. I wonder if there's more tokens, though. I, I want to have as many tokens as possible before I fight. But uh, yeah, let's look around and I'm also going to take the skull to the doctor's place and see if that does anything. We had a green mark at Hanasi. Looks like we can talk to Uthi now. The Chisinyama homeland. You killed them all. They had taken Hanasi as slaves. I understand why you attacked them. But shit, did you have to kill them all? The Chisinyama were monsters wrapped in the skins of humans. They lured our brothers and sisters into slavery with the promise of the past. To leave even one alive will leave the Nazi at risk. What about the herb? How will you make enough? We took what was left of their homeland before we burned them all. Over time, we will wean ourselves of it. We have spent too long living in the shadows of our ancestors. It is time to move forward. Thank you, Mark Leslie. You have given us a future. Thank you, Uti of the Hanasi. They were monsters. But the thing about killing all of them is... Uh, although we didn't see any, surely there must have been children, right? Like, children and other people that weren't involved in the slavery at all guess I just will try not to think about that aha yep I thought so do I have anything else I can put here any other Bones? Can I put the boss skull here again? Mm -mm. Extra DNA? Nope. <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder how we're going to use the blood to activate it. Just carrying it on us might be enough, but I also wonder if we might have to have to pour it all over the console. <laughs> ah, yep, yeah, it just detected it on us. Disable neurotoxic gas. Disable energy barrier. Disable proximity mines. Yeah, that's, um... Let's be careful. Right, none of these are going to let the monster loose, right? I'm going to save first. We good? So, back, we should be able to access the weapon, but also this is open, isn't it? <laughs> Too cute. Do I want to go to the weapon or to the boss cavern first? Uh, let's go to the cavern. It's here. It's closer. Okay. This could be a problem. Whoa. Don, we need Buddy to do something for us. You'll have to ask him yourself. Uh, buddy, can you go into the mine and try to shut down the generator? You gotta ask nicer, Marky. Buddy, please go and shut down the generator. He says he's afraid of the dark. 
He's joking. <laughs> of course he'll help us. So wait, did I have to fix Buddy and find Buddy then? Otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. Come on, buddy. Buddy vision. Old scaffolding supports a precarious walkway through the mine. Ooh, buddy's very fast. Here in the dark, the plants emit a soft luminescence. It could be a type of air pump or slurry pump from the days when the mine was in operation. This machine looks so alien it's hard to hazard a guess as to what its purpose was. Reactor workbench, terminal A. That's an alarming noise. Data imprint. Select protocol to copy to flash memory. Uh, suppose everything, right? Plasma moderation, coolant system, control rods, backup fusion system. Hmm, what was that? Copied. Safety override. All protocols reset. Hmm. Oh, that one worked. Hold on. When I came in, it said it has been installed. I don't quite understand how this works. So I can choose one thing to do at a time? So that doesn't work. Is it just coolant system? Coolant system works. Backup fusion system? Yeah, backup fusion system and coolant system work. I don't know if I've just installed both of them or if it's only one at a time. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> The old mine is damp and dripping, so unlike the arid world above. Whoa. The reactor core emits a low hum as it works to power machines above ground. The energy anomaly within ardently tries to escape its metal tomb. That looks so cool. Reactor cannot be shut down due to missing protocols at this terminal. Um, I guess I'll go do one back at the other terminal and see if I can copy it. Like, coolant system? All protocols are res- oh fuck. So they have to be installed in a certain order. God willing, I think I've just solved this puzzle through a lot of agonizing trial and error. Let's see. I don't want to celebrate too early. Don't error out. Yes! How did I do it? I just, well, like I just said, a lot of trial and error. Um, I had to take the coolant protocol over to this one, then the plasma protocol over to this one, and you'd think it's just about getting those in the right order going to be, right? Like do one and then two and then three and then four and then you're good, but no, that didn't work. 
I had to take the coolant here, the plasma here, and then I had to take the coolant back to the other workbench. Because you can do that. You can take them back from here and go back to workbench A. And then I took the backup generator or whatever here, and then I took the control rods here, and now I just took the coolant back here. That probably made no sense. This puzzle sucks. Now we can come here. Residual traces of electrical power crackle in the wires. A jumble of yellowing bones. Piles of splintered bones litter the ground. Looks like they might be human. Vivid red clay leaves bloody looking smears among the rough foliage. The geometric patterns on the walls look like Art Deco stuff. The car is crumpled with the impact. Hello, is anyone here? God, no one's been in here for so long, huh? No one could get inside. I love these piles of sand. Piles of sand have sifted their way into the deserted building. What are these statues of? It's curtains. Looks so regal. The faded curtain hangs like a shroud. I can access this. Hmm, I'm gonna look around before I touch any controls. What is this? Red velvet curtains gather dust in the darkness. This place is gigantic. The high metal walls vanish upwards into shadow. All the sounds are so echoey. Sand shifts around the surface of the bridge, crunching underfoot. The screens are blank and dead. Up ahead. Ion Command maintenance overdue by 3,508 days. 98 Ion units ready.
Download target information. New location, Temple of Babel. Engage hologram. What does that mean? Do I want to do that? What? Well, that's still laser shut. It's hard to hear what the voice said. It says something something has been reset. Well, that's still like... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! This is an automated security inquiry. In order to access the Iron Cannon Control Sub Network, please solve the Agnate Challenge Response Test. An incorrect trade will result in the immediate termination of the user. Who found it, boss? Mmm. An incorrect answer will make me die. If I don't have an answer and I just exit right away, then we're fine, right? Shutting down. Yeah, let's be sure about that answer. <laughs> I think we should go to the Temple of Babel and do some reading. Oh my god, Babel is an entire location. Remember that button that was broken? Well, I guess we repaired it. Is it gonna have a bunch of sublocations? This game keeps getting bigger and bigger. Temple of Babel, shield generator, shield generator. Whoa! This is gorgeous! Well, this is a bad start. Mm. Now wait, please. I'm here to speak with the priest of tribulation. This ancient mortal ask dares to address us. Not only that, he dares to speak of the priests of tribulation, the masters of Darius. You dread human, let me address you one to one, that you may fully grasp the gravity of his grievance. Leave us place now, or we will be forced to destroy your little vehicle and leave your rooting flesh remains on our ocean bed. This exchange has been noted. Ejecting vehicle from Babel in three, two, one. Do I already have the information that I need to know to answer the questions for the test? Should I go speak with the knowledge slave? Just try to scan the tether device. Just tell me what you can. This item is part of the Penrose Array. When combined, three components enable the Array to manipulate space, time, and matter. The Einstein-Rosen Bridge will facilitate quantum entanglement. Each component serves a purpose in creating and managing the resultant singularity. The red mercury provides the power source. The tether maintains the event horizon. The slingshot both pushes and pulls an object through the resultant wormhole. The bridge must be open on both sides of the vacuum field. Kush has no more information on the array. End scan! So I just combined the uh, mossling thing with the seeding device. I'm thinking I should follow up more on the Site Alpha and Site Beta quests. I remember I had decided that I wanted to help the mosslings because if the... What are these people called? The... The... I uh, don't actually remember what they were called. But if they keep expanding, 
then it's going to kill the Mosslings. So I want to help the Mosslings out. Therefore, we're going to do this. I'm just not exactly sure where I'm supposed to use the biome seeding device. Could I possibly use it here? Hmm, what is this? New codex. I've already been here, though. What? Why did this only appear lately? Oh, because they only appeared lately. I think I've entirely forgotten to go here. Command module. Because I just stepped down down there and it looks like an entirely new zone I must have completely forgot it well this is probably where the biome CD device is used or leads me to using it somewhere else I've really been away from this quest line too long haven't I rubble and snow have settled on the roof of the building I love the snow walking sounds crunch crunch Every leaf is frosted with silvery ice crystals. An old camp has been left to the mercy of the elements. There's something buried in the ice. Hello? Is someone in there? I still can't hear what you're saying. Don't worry, we'll get you out. I guess look if we change the biome here, I guess they'll come out when the biome changes? Part of a space station lies entombed in a thick layer of ice. It's been entombed here for a long time. The abandoned camp is all that's left of a former excavation site. Snowdrifts have piled up against the walls. An icebound digger sits at the edge of the encampment. Rocky, you also need a jacket, man. Powdered snow flows through the ruins of a once grand hotel building. Thermal storage cube. All right, that's got to be what I use to melt them, I guess. Or melt them out. That is not melt the person inside themselves. The instructions tell me the cube can store liquids and semi-liquids at temperatures up to 1300 degrees. Hmm. Hot. Liquid. And semi-liquids. Hot liquid. Uh, I mean, there's some places around the flay where there's lava. Can I just scoop up some lava? The machine is encased in a frozen tomb. Yeah, let me go look for something hot. I'm thinking around the flay. Ooh, I think this is it. Collect. Oh, 
<laughs> you see it? It's got a little happy, like a green happy face on a display next to it. It's happy because it's full. Whew. Probably shouldn't have been on top of that. Can we not talk with them? Alexis command control module. Environmental control systems offline. Habitat containment offline, offline. RM reactors online. Off, 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 off. Orbital workshop. Worksop? Is that supposed to, sh to be workshop? It says worksop AI online. Proximity scanners online. God damn it, I need a cigarette. I was stuck in that godforsaken metal tube for months without a smoke. And then just when I'm about to go home, when I can almost taste that sweet tobacco, this fucking thing goes and crashes. <laughs> and now I'm on the ground, I'm finally out in the open, and I can't have a fucking cigarette because I have no lungs. That sucks, I'm sorry. I have cigarettes, but if you have no lungs, yeah, I guess you can't smoke them. Also, that I think it warns on the package not to smoke them because they're like a thousand years old. Wow, this, uh, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> well, you aren't exactly what I was expecting either, sweetie. You're only a touch too late for a proper rescue. Better late than never, I suppose. At least you weren't here when the decomposition really started to set in. Really messes with one's self-confidence when the skin starts to fall off your bones. It's just sludge in here now. <laughs> Thank God I have no nose. Sorry, how rude of me. I didn't even catch your name. I'm Mark. This is my brother Don, and this is Pooch. <sighs> I take it Pooch is the dog original. I've got a few questions. First, who are you? Straight to business, eh? I haven't had a decent conversation in decades, and the first one I get wants to give me the third degree. Dr. Anna Taylor, SASA pilot and Penrose Allied Biotech Engineer. I suppose I understand your confusion. It's not every day you get to meet a disembodied mind. I was working on a project using nanite technology and organic neuroprocessors to create a network cell-based supercomputer. What does any of that mean? <laughs> How slowly should I speak? I was making lots of tiny computers which would work together to make one big computer. So the big computer would be infinitely scalable. You could work out weather patterns for decades with this much processing power. Imagine an early warning system for natural disasters predicting years in advance. I used my own thought patterns for nanites. They were split into left and right brain, with myself as the bridge to link them. When the Alexis crashed, my brain was still linked into the neural net. I kept the connection alive, thinking they could just put my brain into one of those fancy new agnates. But nobody came. With the connection to the nanite still active, I scuttled the project and went dormant. Until now. Your experiment is still running. As nanites have spread out, they've evolved. Oh shit, those little bastards are tenacious. I'm gonna have to do some thinking here. Say so you shouldn't be active. Without any limitations, they will spread and grow. I'm going back inside for a bit. Hopefully all the scanning equipment still works. And Mark, please, don't forget me. The last time somebody forgot about me, I died. Is there something I should do here? Like the biome device or anything? We can't talk with them any further. There's a green thing around this suggesting I can do something, but there's no controls here. Ah, it seems we can talk to them next. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to talk to the thing I still don't remember the name of.